This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. If you're ever in the need of a quick video clip for B-roll, After Effects templates or motion backgrounds, then Storyblocks Video is an affordable subscription-based option. Download as many stock videos as your hard drive can take from their member library in both HD and 4K. You also get exclusive discounts on marketplace clips where the original artist takes home a commission of the sale price. It's all royalty free so you can use it for commercial and personal projects such as your YouTube videos. This is one of the cameras that started it all. It's Olympus' first Micro Four Thirds camera and the third to be released altogether. What makes it extra special in my opinion is that it's the first really compact Micro Four Thirds camera, which according to many is the actual point of having a mirrorless system. As we know by now, a mirrorless camera is just as big as a DSLR unless the sensor is smaller and or the lenses are slower. But that can definitely be a price worth paying sometimes. Let me give you five reasons why you might want to give this old fellow a go. First off is no shocker, it's the price. This camera is just a month or two shy of 10 years old, therefore it can be had for 50 bucks if you have some patience. But at the same time it's starting to become a bit of a cult classic driving the prices up in the 150 to 250 ish. And then it's no longer a no brainer since you can find for example the in my opinion much better EP5. But if you stay under $100 for the body only, I still say it's a pretty good deal. Next we have the fact that this is a very well built camera. It's all metal and it shows. Makes your fingers freeze when used in the winter, but since it's so cool looking, it's forgivable. It doesn't have a tilt screen like the EP5 and no optional EVF, but there is an add-on OVF for framing. It also lacks the EP5's excellent controls, but with that said, it has a pretty decent layout. I love the tall dial, which is easy to use even with gloves. And there is a button for everything I may need on the go. It is very comfortable in the hand and easily slips into my jacket pocket, even with the 45mm lens on it. And with a pancake lens like this old and soft 17mm f2.8, you can carry it everywhere. And that leads us to the third reason. The Micro Four Thirds system is now so mature that there are lenses for every scenario and every budget imaginable. You can adapt almost any old flea market lens, use native glass or special stuff like this Kippon Ebelux 45mm f0.85. Speaking of size, as soon as you add fast glass. Next reason is the image. Under the hood sits a 12 megapixel sensor which is enough for pretty much any print needs in my opinion and definitely for such a compact camera. It has in-camera stabilization which can come in handy since the ISO performance is as expected from a 10 year old camera. And by the way the autofocus speed is pretty decent but in low light it can be downright awful. Worse than anything I've tested. What you get out of it when you do set the exposure properly is just lovely. I have always had a soft spot for the Olympus colors. Function wise it doesn't lack anything in my opinion besides auto ISO in manual which is a drag not having. The 
final reason why I like this camera, despite its shortcomings compared to the EP5 and aging tech, is something that applies to pretty much all the cheap and old cameras I have reviewed. The fun factor. Being challenged is sometimes inspiring. Shooting for example my modern EOS R, that has more features than I would ever need, doesn't hold me back in any way and lets me focus 100% on shooting, is very result oriented, if that makes sense. With something like the EP1, the process becomes more apparent. It definitely slows me down a bit and leaves me in the end with a different kind of results. It's a different journey with a different goal. Also having a cheap camera that wouldn't sadden me too much if it broke is quite liberating. That's about it, please subscribe for upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye!